Uh, I'm in uh, Castle Bar today, uh, canvassing for the uh, European elections, and it's uh, my ninth day on the canvas uh, trail. It's uh, the eight different county that I've been to, and while I would love if it was a case that Ireland's economy was taking off and things were improving, I would think it would be brilliant, but I am discovering that that is not the case. Now, before I went canvassing, I had a bit of a hunch that uh, this idea that we we're growing wasn't true, but now I am definite that we have a major problem when it comes to businesses in this country. I have at this stage, over the last nine days, throughout counties Kildare, Mead, Loud, Leash, Offaly, Monaghan, uh, Roscommon and Longford, I've met with over 300 businesses. And I have asked them, do they think that John Fitzgerald from the ESRI is correct when he predicts that our economy will grow over the next year? Out of over 300 businesses, only four of them said things were positive. I met a man in Ashburn who broke down crying telling me about the struggles he had keeping his business open. And the problem is this, people don't have money and businesses are having money robbed off them through taxes, through rates, and the rates are high because the councils are in debt. People cannot afford to come out and buy things and the economy is grinding to a halt. Here in Castle Bar, I have to say I am shocked by the reaction that I'm getting. And when I say shocked, I mean I came down here today full of the knowledge that Enda Kenny comes from this town, our Taoiseach, the leader of our country. And when I was coming here, I thought to myself, you know what, I suppose talking about Enda Kenny down here, you'll get your head bitten off if you say anything bad about him. As of yet, four hours here, I have yet to meet someone who can say something positive about him. I have spoken to pretty much every business on this street and as far as they're concerned, this government is doing nothing but crushing them with more costs. So the message is this, something has to change. And what has to change is this, it is impractical to pay someone else's debt. For this economy to pay that 70 billion euros back, you will crush the economy because it's hard enough to pay your own bills without paying someone else's bills. So. One of the main reasons that I'm running for the European Parliament is that I hope to find other MEPs out in the European Parliament who also agree with the view that Europe has gone the wrong way and that private debt should not be socialised. And we need to send that message out to the European Parliament. And also, if I get elected and Jeremy O'Flynn gets elected and Breed Smith gets elected in Dublin, it puts pressure on the main political parties to go out with the same message. So. My experience today tells me that people are looking for another way, even in the Taoiseach's hometown. His office is here behind me, and as far as I can see from talking to the business people around here, there's only one shop front that's doing well in this town, and that's Enda Kenny's. And it's not meant to be about the politicians, it's meant to be about the people. It's time to go back to that. And can I just ask you as well, like, what could you do, or what do you, would you hope to do if you got elected? Uh, what I would hope to do is uh, meet with other MEPs out there who believe the same thing that I do, which is that Europe has gone too far. We started off as a community, but unfortunately we've ended up as a union. I'm all on for cooperation, not domination, and that's what we have at the moment. And as far as I can see, right across Europe, we're going to see an awful lot of people elected who question the European project. We also need people in Ireland elected uh, to question it as well, because if we don't, it sends the message out to Europe that we are quite happy with the way things are. What I want to see down the line is a situation where the European Union moves away from the Eurozone, we go back to our own currency, we govern ourselves, and that isn't about nationalism, that's about localism. That's about bringing power back to the people. The people of Spain, the people of Portugal, the people of Italy and the people of Greece have had power taken off them as well. We need to join up with these people and fight against the corrupt forces that are turning Europe, the European Union, into a place for big business and a place that's turned out to be hell for the ordinary citizen. And I hope to have some sort of influence out there. Out there. Will I solve it all on my own? No, I won't. But you know the tale about how do you eat an elephant? You eat it bit by bit. Well, I'm at the leg at the moment and I'm going to keep going until I eat the whole body and we win this fight.